politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, the Secretariat of uh, NUP Party is considering revising its policy of parading torture victims at press conferences following a controverted account of events surrounding the alleged torture of 29-year-old Eric Mwesigwa, a border border rider from Wakiso district. Uh, the party position has been revealed by the spokesperson, that is uh, Joel Senyonyi, who says they were astonished by the distortion of a report by Mwesigwa, who yesterday, after an alleged compromise, twisted the narrative of his torture and affiliated it to NUP. Government ya kukwata. Echa ukana, ye nkwata jiba kukwata mu. Bazeba jingirida evi nitu nga wabi geta geta. Mujukida, mkoti, muzei chivalama. Kamazo kogele vita tegele kika. Na haka wa maziga mkoti na gamba. According to Joel Senyonyi, they have now learned something from Mwesigwa's episode. So you, you PDF, must be very careful. You must never adopt the habits of these old armies. Basi ba geza ako kula evi nitu bi nevi gete gete. Nete bi jaba yamba. Banda Uganda ba manye chitufu, ba manye abatulugu nyabantu, ba manye government ino cheze kula. Eda mwemu seven, jafa ino akangula ne kudobozi. He says uh, the state has resorted to manipulating torture victims and the party is considering revising its policy of showing torture victims in a bid to show the world the human rights violations prevailing in Uganda. Well, Mr. Mwesigwa yesterday shocked the nation when he alleged that NUP had contracted him at 50 million to allege torture by government. He added that NUP was also in possession of drones which they used to abduct their own supporters to put the government in bad light before the international community. Government of Jabisi, Kuko Yakuravisa, the 